Cards. Two, two. Comedy. Inspiration. These are but a few of the aspects world-renowned card mechanic Richard Turner, the cheat, has to offer your event. This is the fancy way of cutting an ace. Yeah. Uh, back in the days of Pharaoh, they could actually take the cards and lace them up every other card. Red and blue. Now that's a much more difficult method of shuffling a pack of cards. Now the most difficult <laughs> shuffle <laughs> to work with is to take the cards and shuffle them. <laughs> now I've shown you a half a dozen ways of shuffling and cutting the decks. They should be very well mixed. Let's see how evenly mixed these cards are. Do we have here all red? <laughs> Do we have here all blue? <laughs> yes. Now let's see what they look like on the opposite side. <laughs> I want you to know we have all the aces, all the twos, all the threes, all the fours, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Whoa. ten, jacks, queens, and kings suited. And on the back side of the blue deck, we have all the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, all suited. Thank you. Jen, would you give me a quick shuffle, please? One last thing. When those, gam when those gamblers would play cards, they would always like to cut for the high card at the end of the night, and the card you want to develop a touch for, what's that card, General? Ace of Spades. What's that card? The Ace of Clubs. What's that card? Ace of Hearts. And I'll uh, cut one more card right out of the middle, and that is? Ace of Diamonds. Now, well, here's something you never do when you play cards for money. Never triple cut the deck with one hand, and give the deck a one-handed backflip. When you do, it makes the other players nervous. <laughs> now, when they see you shuffle with one hand, they get up and run away. Another number drawn. Uh, uh, two. One, two. <laughs> one more number. Four. How about seven? Okay. How about... How about seven? A stud center. One, yep. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of the middle to your selection. Thank that you. is unbelievable. I hope you all really appreciate these two gifted people who came and shared this with you today. Mr. Cheat and Miss Guided. They are the real stars. Thank you. Richard's card playing skills have been admired around the country. On a CBS interview, the 90-year-old living legend of cards and magic, Di Vernon, said, This man here, Richard Turner, he does things that nobody else in the world can do with cards. Nobody. I don't care if you go to China or France or Germany. He does things that nobody else can do. He does them beautifully. But as I say, that's very rare. Michael Skinner, the Golden Nugget Casino, Las Vegas. You deserve your reputation as the most skilled card cheater in the world. From the San Antonio Express News, it's not hard to see why Richard Turner is regarded worldwide as the greatest card mechanic, living or dead. It's not easy to see what Richard does with the cards. He can shuffle the deck numerous times using various methods only to have the deck turn out in perfect numerical order. He can deal winning hands to any player, a patron selection, a mock poker game. And don't try your luck against him in three-card Monty. You'll never be able to follow the ace. Two twos. Hi. Winning card. One, two, three, queen. Queen or the crown? Oh. Boxing legend Muhammad Ali. Richard Turner is the greatest card mechanic of all time. Though legally blind, Richard Turner has been called the greatest card mechanic in the world. His unparalleled touch with a pack of playing cards has been written about and featured on TV specials around the globe. Richard has performed for numerous corporations, Southwestern Bell Corporation, Arco Chemical, USAA, and Southwest Airlines, to name a few. Richard has been privileged to entertain legends such as Muhammad Ali, Johnny Carson, Gene Kelly, and Bob Hope. Along with comedic partner Misguided, Richard Turner has spoken at prestigious events like the 42nd Annual National Security Forum at Maxwell Air Force Base, the Defense Intelligence Agency, Bowling Air Force Base, and at a special event with Secretary of State General Colin Powell. 
Because of his community involvement, Richard has received many acknowledgments, including the FBI Director's Community Leadership Award, Rotary Leadership Award, Honorary Commander, U.S. Air Force, Honorary Naval Flight Officer, Magic Castle Hall of Fame, Hollywood, California, and the Golden Lion Award from Las Vegas' famed duo Siegfried and Roy. Topics in Richard's speech include honesty, integrity, loyalty, perseverance, overcoming obstacles, and what it takes to become the best. The Richard Turner, The Cheat Story began when Richard was seven years old. After watching the TV show Maverick, Richard set his mind on becoming a world-class card magician. However, at nine years old, Richard's dream hit a setback. A disease destroyed the retina of his eyes, causing him to go blind. Richard, one of the things that's really curious to me is you, you can't see these cards. No, it's all by touch, 100%. When I was nine years old, I caught a disease that caused the retina of my eyes to degenerate, and I have no macula, and my, the rest of the retina, they call it shotgun. It's like someone took a shotgun and blew it all apart. So I have to do it all by touch, which is a real blessing. So you can tell what these cards are just by touching oh, that card? By touching the card, I can do anything I want with those cards. I also came up with a great idea for the blind and deaf driver. I bought a Honda 350. I had a friend who was deaf. I would drive, he'd tell me where to go. <laughs> it worked really well until one day we were pulled over for armed robbery. Now we fit the profile exactly except for two minor details. The getaway driver wasn't blind, his partner wasn't deaf. That was 30 years ago and I've calmed down a little bit since then. Not to be outdone by this tragic obstacle, Richard began creating his own opportunities. Through discipline and perseverance, Richard has struggled to develop his mind and body in order to compensate for the loss of sight. Invented a series of board and card games. Produced a comprehensive video series on card table artifice that is used by magicians and casinos around the world. Earned a fourth degree black belt. <laughs> What do you think about when you're in the ring against that many guys? I hope my wind holds up because you go 10 three minute rounds. It's not like a boxer. A boxer, you know, it's the same guy getting tired. This is a fresh guy every round and it's rough. Now, now the final point. You're legally blind. Yeah, and I don't see very well either. Well, how could you possibly fight? I don't know. Find out. <laughs> Sit and watch. <laughs> Richard's blindness brought about a heightened sense of touch, a touch so sensitive he is on retainer with the world's largest card manufacturer as their touch analyst. As long as they stay on the table. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's the old-fashioned way. And a cut. <laughs> Very good. Random card shuffled in by Ian. Uh, Ian, I'm going to try cutting a card from the center of the deck. Ian, what was your card? Eight of hearts. Are you sure it was an ace of hearts? Eight of Eight hearts. Eight of hearts. What is that? Eight of hearts. <laughs> Eight of hearts. <laughs> Richard's touch is so amazing, it has been highly featured in major newspapers across America. From the Los Angeles Times, they are remarkable hands. Hands any surgeon would be proud to affix to his or her wrists. Hands that unerringly pluck the aces from the deck and have made him one of the world's greatest card dealers. The Orlando Sentinel. He can deal a full house, four aces, whatever you want, and make it look as if it were all a coincidence. He'll even let you cut the deck, shuffle the cards, deal the hand, and he'll get a full house. Over there. I've got three nines. Three nines is a wagering hand. That's right. So I've already bet on mine. What you got over there? I've got four kings. The Dallas Times Herald. Richard Turner has a feel for cards. 
Ask him to cut 28, and he casually picks off exactly 28. It's all done by feel. 10, 11, 12. I will say 19. Twenty-one. Try that. That feels like twenty-one. Seventy. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. And twenty-one. Huh? Is that good? Is that good enough? Richard's touch was sought after by many of the organized crime families who pursued him with million-dollar offers to cheat in high-stake poker games. Richard shares how he was trained and armed by the police department to protect himself. Richard shares on how he became a success honestly, living up to traditional values and refusing to use his skills for unethical or illegal purposes. Uh, because of this next series of events, I was actually trained to use firearms by Chuck Curtis, the captain of the San Diego SWAT team. I was flying to a performance. The stranger in the seat next to me lowered his paper and said, Hello, Mr. Turner, I'd like to talk to you about doing some business together. I was a little startled, but that was just the beginning. This character would be waiting for me in restaurants. He knew about my family, my personal likes and dislikes. He would call me on private lines when I'd be a thousand miles from home. He told me how it cost him $400,000 to buy off a judge for a murder he had committed. He gave me the business and private numbers of Johnny Carson, suggesting I might like to be on The Tonight Show. The police search determined the numbers were legitimate. He even tried to give me a five-carat diamond ring just to show his good faith. However, the most frightening moment came when he offered to have my wife or anyone else murdered. He said it would be an accident. No one would ever know. Now, he said and did all these things with the intention of trying to either entice or intimidate me into accepting his $300,000 offer to cheat in high state car games in South Africa. Inspiration, motivation, or just amazing entertainment, Richard Turner can provide any or all of these for your event. Your clients will laugh, be amazed and inspired in a way rarely experienced. Your management will have many new springboards for inspiring discussions. Richard Turner can entertain table to table, in intimate arenas, or as a motivational speaker or performer using video projection. Your contact can give you entertainment options and prices. This isn't just incredible, this is enough to make a poker player want to take up Scrabble. <laughs>